Konnichiwa, it's Koneko here and for today's video I'm going to show you a few items that I got for both Inktober and Halloween. Before I get started, as always, if you haven't already, please consider becoming a part of this big magical pastel online family by clicking the subscription button down below and clicking the little bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I post another video. So Michael's is a craft store that is for sure here in Canada, it might be generally North American. I'm not positive where else in the world has a Michaels, but it is essentially a craft store and it has all sorts of crafts from like beads to yarn to pencils and pens and paints and perler beads and scrapbooking and there's a bunch of fake flowers and sewing items and then just headbands and toys and they have a lot of seasonal items as well so there's a big section of Halloween and already a big section of Christmas stuff which means the Halloween stuff is on sale I recently went to Michael's and picked up several Halloween items that were on sale and I'm so happy with them. One practical item, I guess you would call it, and several kind of just for decor and probably photos and they were on sale and I just really, really love this style <laughs> even though there's still so much pastel going on and there will always be pastel in my videos and this room is very pastel and I love pastel. I also, on the flip side, really love like dark and grungy and like that dark Harajuku style. And there's a photo that I will find and insert in here that basically has like a black shoe and a pink shoe and it just is like, you know, somebody who can't choose between the two because they're just so great. And there are some cases where I have like combined both pastel and dark either in fashion or like items that I have. but. There is just something so pleasing to me about having like a bunch of like bubble gum pink and cotton candy pink and blue and then just some like deep burgundy black gray. That's why I have more than one Instagram. I'll leave it at that. You can see some of the items over here for the decor. Can't really see the ink stuff that I got for Inktober. Um, but I think that I'm going to start with the ink stuff as I will probably do an updated Inktober video. I just want to show the stuff that I got from Michaels and just kind of maybe one thing that I've done so far for Inktober from it. Um, I post them on Twitter and Instagram as well, like my Inktober drawings. Um, but the first thing that I got that wasn't on sale until I applied the coupon, so it was a coupon for 55% off original, pr originally priced items, were these Fiber Castell like pens and markers. Um, there's artist pen so it says like the different types that are in here and it shows you the like thinness to thickness ratio of the different pen slash markers and these work really beautifully i will insert an outline that i did and then i have the finished piece here um, which is one of the pieces that I'll show you but it is heavily like watercolored so that's why I want to insert a picture of the line work first and then like this is the finished piece with like the watercolor I was considering just inserting a picture but like the only thing I changed was I actually put a bit of gray in her eyes 
um, to make them stand out a little bit. And I am just practicing as well. I really love watercolor and these Figma style pens and markers, so I've wanted to work a lot with them. Here are what some of the pens, markers, whatever you'd like to call them, look like. So they've got the letters on the bottom there so that you can tell which ones they are. I also got some Black India um, pigment based drawing ink as well and I only used this a tiny bit on one of my inktobers because I was just playing around with it and I went a little overboard so I just kind of did splotches around here playing with like the effects of it like uh, the consistency and if I dabbed it with like paper towel what would happen and it just comes in this little container here and it has like a little droplet style if that makes any sense at all and this was under ten dollars so I grabbed that even though it wasn't on sale So yeah, those are the few things that I picked up from Michaels for Inktober. They also had a lot of Copic markers and other different types of pens, markers, sharpies, and some really good sketchbooks as well and different types of papers, but I had already picked up my watercolor um, paper book from Endeavors, so different store. But now on to some cute and spooky <laughs> Halloween decor and whatnot. The first little item is this cute danger bottle, do not consume. It is super cute, it has a little label, it is glass and black with this dark red ribbon here and the top part has a black skull and it just looks really nice and you can't open it so it's just for display like I said not really practical use besides cute decor this item was on clearance as well as all the other items I'm about to show you next up is this what I believe might be just like a bookend, a book that's a bookend, as it resembles a spell book specifically, and um, it's just quite heavy, and it doesn't open or anything, it's just like a ceramic, and I, there was this one, and then there was one that said magic, and I did love them both. The magic one had a crow and this one had a cat so I decided to go for the black cat that said spells and I do really love like spells and all that kind of witchy type stuff. I really love how the word spells <laughs> is written down there and I just thought it was super sweet, cute, spooky. I really love like books as well so the fact that this just kind of like looks like a book but can sit on a shelf just was really intriguing to me I still need to get the stickers off and just to show you how much I love the look of books, <laughs> I found this stack of three small books. Again, that sort of ceramic-y type material. There's like this 3D-ish spider going on over here. On the top, it has this skull and it says like curses, which is what is labeled on the side. So we've got curses, another spell book, can never have too many spells and potions. Mm -hmm. 
The next Halloween decor is this really nice looking pumpkin. So Michaels has a variety of shapes and sizes and colors I'd say of pumpkins. Like I saw the typical like bright regular like pumpkin and then there was like white pumpkin, black, blue. And then I went over to more I guess of like a fall like the fall section because the pumpkins were a little more like diverse like this one is both like orange and red and has speckles of yellow in it and it has like this cool stem and it's just kind of a little flatter and like chubbier this way and I just really love it and there was like a really huge one but I was like Jamie no you don't need that <laughs> like I need any of this but anyways I really love this pumpkin I really really love the color of this pumpkin and it's just super cool and it was discounted I mean there's a bit of hot glue up there but it's very light as well and like it's plastic I think or like kind of feels like it could be like some kind of foam like a thicker plasticky foam and the last thing is this super cool skull cup with a straw <laughs> so it is like a glass clear skull cup they had different colors but I just really liked the like plain glass look and it's kind of like black mason jar style lid with a straw. Those are all the items that I picked up at Michael's craft store for both Inktober and Halloween decor. I'd love to know if there's a Michael's craft store or something similar where you live. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching! Bye!